In this video we're going to change a fraction to a percent, so we'll do these two pages. Here's page one, these examples, and page two, these examples. Okay. So to change a fraction to a percent, I would suggest you first begin by changing the fraction to a decimal, right? So how would you turn a half into a decimal? Well, a half is one divided by two, right? Or so you go two into one. And so now we need to remember how to divide with decimals, right? <coughs> so two into one won't go, so I need to put in a decimal point and add some zeros here. And what's two into ten? Well you could say two into one goes zero times and your decimal point must be above the one in the division, right? And now two into ten goes five times. So I have zero point five. So zero point five is is what this is as a decimal. Now when we're turning to percents, it percent is per hundred. So I'm gonna write this as zero point five zero. I'm just gonna stick a zero on there, okay? Now 0 0.50 is of course, uh, you know, 50 hundredths or 50 percent, but I guess that we should, so, so of course what we have is 50 hundredths, okay, 50 per hundred, which of course is 50 percent, 50 per hundred, 50 divided by 100 is 50 percent, percent means divide by 100, right? But of course you could just use the trick where you just take the decimal point and move it two spaces to the right and you get 50, right? So one half equals fifty percent. Now, how about one quarter? What's that? It's one divided by four, right? So don't you have to go four into one? Four into one or four into one point zero. And the decimal point needs to be above the one in the division, right? The 4 into 1 goes 0 times. So 4 into 10 goes twice, but you've got a remainder. So you need to stick on another 0 here, right? So 4 into 10 goes twice, remainder 2. And what's 4 into 20? 4 into 20 goes 5 times. So I have 0 0.25. Now 0 0.25 of course is 25 hundredths or 25 divided by 100 or 25 per 100 or 25 percent 25 percent and of course you could just use the trick where you just move the decimal point one two spaces to the right and that gives you your 25 so you've got 25 percent so please press pause and do two fifths by yourself see what you get Okay, I'll do it now. You've got to go 5 into 2. And I'll stick on a couple of zeros and see what happens. 5 into 20 goes 4 times. No remainder. Uh, so I'll put a decimal point here, put in a 0. So I have 0 0.4. And I could just move the decimal point 1, 2 spaces to the right, stick in a placeholder 0. So that gives me 40%, right? Or in other words, 0 0.40 equals 40 hundredths, which is 40%. So this is 40%. Okay, one third. We just got that as a as a um, percentage earlier. But what I'll do is I'll go three into one and stick on some zeros here. Okay. 3 into 1 goes 0 times, put up the decimal point. 3 into 10 goes 3 times remainder 1. 3 into 10 goes 3 times remainder 1. And I can keep going on and on and on and on and on. Um, and this is kind of funny. Uh, so I guess I might as well, we're used to that. So put on another 0, remainder 1. 3 into 10 goes 3 times, remainder 1, put on another 0, and so on. So this is going to keep going on and on forever, right? 
So I have 0 0.3333223 to, tur to turn this into a into a percentage I need to move the decimal point one two spaces to the right and that gives me 33.333 percent okay because the threes keep continuing right um, now the the point three 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 two three three part um, you might recognize that as one third so the point three two three is actually one third so this is thirty three and one third percent okay so two thirds is you've got to go three into two okay three into two that's two point zero 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 right three into two goes zero times put up the decimal point three into twenty well three eighteen or three sixes is eighteen so three into twenty goes six times remainder two right and 3 into 20 again goes 6 times, remainder 2. 3 into 20 goes 6 times. Remainder 2, and so on, 6 times. So what I have is 0 0.6666, and it keeps going on. And as a percentage, I can move the decimal point 1, 2 spaces to the right. And that gives me 66 point six six percent now the point six six continuing part itself is in fact two-thirds right so this can be written as 66 and two-thirds percent funny enough okay now the one-third and the two-thirds I mean these come up a lot so you know you won't have to do a whole lot like them, but it's just kind of nice to to uh, be be familiar with these at least, right? Now five eighths, you've got to go eight into five, right? So press pause or whatever, and just see see how far you get. So five is uh, five point zero zero, right? Eight into five goes zero times. The decimal point needs to be here. What's eight into fifty? Well, six eighths are forty-eight, right? So eight into fifty is six times remainder two. What's eight into twenty? Eight into twenty goes uh, twice. Two two eighths is sixteen. Remainder four, right? What's 8 into 40? 8 into 40 goes 5 times, right? So I have 0 0.625. So that's the decimal. But I need to turn this into a percentage. So I'm going to move the decimal point 1, 2 spaces to the right. So that is 62.5 per cent. Okay. So 62.5 per cent. Now, what about two and a quarter? Let's see. Um, if I want to write this as a percentage, what I'm going to do is turn this into a decimal, first of all. If I want to turn the mixed number into a decimal, I'm just going to turn the fraction part into a decimal, right? So I'm just going to work on the one quarter. What's four into one? And again, I think we might have done this earlier, huh? That ends up being, we did this earlier, didn't we? Four into one is zero times. Four into ten goes twice, remainder two. Four into twenty goes five times. So, of course, two and a quarter is two, um, two, you know, 
plus 2 and uh, 0 0.25 because the 1 quarter is 0 0.25 so 2 and a quarter of course is just 2.25 okay so I have 2.25 if I turn that into a percentage I must move the decimal point two spaces to the right see so that's 225 percent right how about three and a half first of all write that as a decimal What's three and a half as a decimal? What's one half as a decimal? One half as a decimal, we did it earlier, is 0 0.5, right? So I have three and a half, or three and 0 0.5, which of course is 3.5. Now turn that into a percentage you need to move the decimal point where two spaces to the right one two put in a placeholder zero so we have three hundred and fifty percent okay that's the answer three hundred and fifty percent now percentages once again they can be above a hundred this might be once again something like interest where or 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 it could be your your population of of cats on a farm you know you, you started with a uh, hundred cats and then then a lot of them were infected and stuff and then they all of a sudden at the end of the year you have three hundred and fifty cats so they increased by three hundred and fifty percent you know big farm a lot of cats but yeah that type of thing where some an amount increases by its original amount, then you have a percentage more than a hundred. Anyway, okay, one and one eighth. I'd like you to turn the one eighth into a decimal first of all. So you've got to go eight into one. Okay, so we start with that. Turn the decimal, the fraction part into a decimal. Eight into one, and that's one point zero zero zero, right? Eight into one goes zero times. Put the decimal point up here. What's eight into ten? Eight into ten goes once. Remainder two, right? What's eight into twenty? Eight into twenty twice. Remainder four. What's eight into forty? Eight into forty is five times. So one and one eighth is 1 plus the 1 eighth part is 0 0.125 so what I have is 1.125 and to turn that into a percentage you need to move the decimal point okay so you can just move the decimal point one two spaces to the right and that's 112.5 percent okay now 22 over 41 we're going to round we're going to turn this into a percentage to the and round to the nearest tenth of a uh, percent so we're going to go 41 into 22 first of all and stick on a bunch of zeros and just see how far you need to go with this right so 41 into 22 won't go 41 into 220 um, I'm going to guess five times and decimal point needs to be here this is going to be zero so five times one is five five times four is twenty subtract and this gives me fifteen and now let's see bring this zero down forty one into a hundred and forty uh, let's see, three fours is twelve, right? Four fours is sixteen. So I'm going to try three times. Uh, three ones is three. Three fours is twelve. Now subtract. <coughs> Turn this into a four. Carry one over here. Ten minus three is seven. Four minus two is two. 
Okay, and bring this zero down. 41 into 270. Let's see. Well, four, five fours is 20. Six fours is 24. Seven fours is 28. Now, I have basically 27. It's kind of like four into 27, right? So, I'm going to guess uh, six times. Six ones is six. Six fours, 24. Now subtract. Okay. So let's see. Um, turn that into a six. Carry a one over here. 10 minus six is four. Six minus four is two. Um, now, we're going to turn this decimal into a percentage soon. In which case, this decimal point is going to go over to here. But I want it as a percentage to the nearest tenth. So I don't know whether yet whether I need to round up or down on the six. So I'll need one more unit, one more digit here. Okay. So I'll bring the zero down and go 41 into 240 goes. Now remember, six of them, six of them was 246. So it's not going to be six, it'll be five of them, a bit less. Five times one, uh, five, five times four, 20, subtract, and that gives me 35. Another zero, 41 to 350. But hold on a second, I have enough now to round it, because I'm going to round this to the nearest tenth of a percent. Basically, okay, this is giving me 0 0.5, six five and then it continues and to put it into a percentage I'll move the decimal point here so that I get fifty three point six five and so on percent but I want to round it to the nearest tenth of a percent so I'm going to round the up to this digit here the six and after the six comes a five so do I round up or round down I round up, don't I? 0.7%. Yep. 53.7%, right?